Good morning guys, hope you're all doing well. So today is Friday, what is the date? The 13th, oh it's Friday the 13th, fab. Um, today I thought that I would vlog. As you guys know, I have Fridays off uni. Um, I get Tuesdays and Fridays off. So I get like a nice little gap in the middle and then a long weekend, which is great. So I thought I would vlog because I've been loving vlogging recently and you guys enjoy vlogs and they're easy to film and they don't have to sit down and try and get lighting and stuff right for a video and I just think they're a lot more fun and also when I finish uni then I've got loads of uni vlogs to watch back so yeah that is what I'm going to be doing today I haven't got too many plans I've got a few bits I need to get on with so I thought that I would take you guys along with me um it is currently 10 o'clock and I've got up got dressed showered had breakfast I did film a little clip of my breakfast so I'll pop that in here but it's just what I'm eating all the time it's just soya yogurt um dried apricots and then some like seeds and stuff on top um and a bit of honey I've been drinking a bottle of water this morning keep myself hydrated um and yeah I'm just gonna pack my bag and then I'm gonna head into town I need to go to Asda I need to get some food shopping before lunch so I've got about two and a bit hours before I'm probably gonna be hungry for lunch so I need to go to Asda before then um because I haven't got anything I need to buy some wraps um and then I'm gonna go to a cafe later on probably just like Costa or Starbucks sit with my laptop do a bit of work um maybe read some of my book I've been watching Gabby this morning whilst I've been getting ready um but yeah so I've got that to do and then I basically just gonna have a chill day um but yeah like I said got a couple of little tasks I need to get on with um my room's pretty tidy which I never normally say I always go on about how messy it is but I actually cleaned it last night and had a nice little tidy I did some washing and stuff so I've got that out of the way um I need some lip balm yeah so that's my plan for today not really that much going on um and then tonight i think i might be seeing my friend shan who is one of my course mates she lives quite near me like in the same student halls um we get on really well and i haven't seen her properly since i've got back from easter so i think we might have a little catch up tonight maybe have a few drinks in one of our rooms or go to the pub i'm not really sure but yeah i'm gonna pack my stuff and then I'll take you guys along with me for my day and I really hope that you enjoy the video. So I'm taking myself off into town. I'm ready now. I've just popped on my beloved black coat, which I literally wear all of the time, as you guys know. Um, I've just got my headphones in because I'm listening to Spotify. Um, today I've put on my khaki or army pants, trousers, whatever you want to call them, uh, chunky black boots, I've just got a black t-shirt on under this which is from Zara, and then I've got my student union bag which I'm not actually a part of the student union, don't really even know what it is, but um, we got given these bags in freshers and I literally only use tote bags now, I can't stand using like a proper handbag unless I'm going on a night out, so yeah, this is my outfit and I've just got little little hoop earrings in as well, which I love. This earring is still really sore, the one that I got pierced in the last vlog. It's very painful. Okay, I'm off. town now I basically popped to Cafe Nero and had a coffee and sat in the window and read my book for a bit which I think I filmed a little clip of and um, so that was really nice just to like unwind and just sit and relax for a bit I was in there for about 40 minutes um, and then I popped to Asda and I got a few bits just to last me a couple of days I don't really tend to do like big food shops I just pop into Asda whenever I'm in town and get a few bits for like the next couple of days and like fresh fruit and veg so I thought I would show you what I got because you guys seem to like watching food hauls and they're literally my favorite thing to watch um I just love seeing what people eat because I'm nosy so I'm gonna do that I've also kept the receipt this time because when I did it last time I had lots of people asking me to give the prices as well so I'm gonna do that for you today um so let's see what we've got first thing I got was 
a microwave macaroni cheese because it's my favorite meal mac and cheese is literally life and i haven't had it in a while and i really craved it so i got that it was two pound 40. i got a little <laughs> pathetic bag of sad looking lettuce it was 35p um, and basically I'm going to have wraps for lunch and I don't like to buy a big like whole lettuce because I never use it all myself. So a little bag like this is quite handy. Normally I am not lazy and I don't buy pre-prepared veg and stuff or like fruit. I like to actually buy the proper thing and cut it up but it's just no point with that. Um, I got some bananas. They were 35p. I picked up this little bag of chocolate. They are Freddo faces and I just saw them. I think they were a pound they were a pound yeah they were one pound so i just picked them up so i can have a bit of chocolate if i fancy it um i've got some crisps these are just as to own cheese and onion flavor i've not had them before but i wanted some crisps and i just thought i'll get cheap ones they were 85p um i got some wraps these are asda white and wheat wraps i usually buy the small wraps and have two but you can't really put much filling in them, so I decided to get bigger ones. Uh, they were 95p. I got a pot of beans. These are really, really handy to just have in the cupboard. Um, if you don't know what to like have with a meal or something, or you don't really know what to eat, you could just have like beans on toast or beans or something out the freezer. These were £2, and you get four little snap pots. I understand they're not cheap, um, but they're so easy. You just put them in the microwave for a minute, and they're done. You don't have to wash up a saucepan or anything. Um, I got some soya alpro yogurt. Uh, this is just the plain one. It was one pound fifty. I just like to have that for breakfast. Uh, and then the last thing I got is some soya milk. This is the soya light one. I got this. It was one pound forty. Um, it was like the cheapest soya milk, so I just grabbed it. And yeah, that is what I've got. So they are all the bits I picked up. Hope you found that interesting. I literally love seeing what people buy. Um, so yeah, all together it was £10.77. And that food will last me a couple of days. So all good. Um, I'm going to go and make some lunch because I'm really hungry. I don't actually know what the time is. I have no idea. I think it's a bit early for lunch. Meh. It's 20 to 12, but I'm starving. So I'm going to go make some lunch. Also, I tinted my eyebrows last night don't know if they look any different on camera in person they look a bit darker but i was just sick of taking my makeup off and literally having no eyebrows so i tinted them I've just made lunch and I thought I'd quickly tell you guys what is in my wrap so I've got a whole wheat or mixed white and brown wrap I don't know I told you guys what it was a minute ago in my haul um, there's then mayonnaise lettuce corn chicken and a little bit of grated cheese and I literally can't tell you how excited I am to eat this oh god I'm dropping it everywhere so I've been sat in bed for like the last hour or so just being lazy and eating snacks and attempting to do a little bit of uni work and I thought some of you might be interested in seeing the sort of stuff that I get up to so I'm going to show you one of my powerpoint presentations that I'm working on for um trend forecasting so this is the trend that I came up with it's gender neutral skincare um and basically we had to come up with a trend and then a brand so I chose origins um and you basically have to do like a whole trend powerpoint on um how they could collaborate and why the trend is happening that sort of thing so um I've just got this kind of stuff here so we just had to write like a little bit about it I just really like collecting all of the images and stuff um and then a bit more information just like words that stand out about the trend and yeah and then I haven't really finished it yet but I've just got to put all of this together I've just got loads of images and texts and stuff so yeah just thought you might find that interesting so quite a long time ago now I collaborated with the shoe brand Public Desire and ever since I've absolutely loved them I loved them before I worked with them the first time anyway to be honest like I always find myself looking on their website looking at their shoes and stuff and recently they've got so many amazing shoes on there so um, I basically got back in contact with them and they sent me two new pairs of shoes which I got to choose which is amazing I thought I'd share them with you guys just in case you want to check out the website I'll leave a link down below 
So these are the first pair that I chose. Basically, I'm going on holiday in May with my sister. I'm going to Marbella. Um, and I needed a pair of sliders to wear around the pool. So I got these. They are absolutely beautiful. They're so comfy. I've been wearing them around the flat quite a lot. They come in white and baby pink as well, I think. But I went for black, obviously, because I love black. Um, but yeah, they're just gorgeous. They've got little studs on the top and like a little leather bit here. Super comfy, super super gorgeous so they were the first pair then the second pair are a little bit more out there but i absolutely love them and again i haven't stopped wearing them um i wasn't sure at first so i was kind of worried like they're sort of pair of shoes that you love but you are not actually sure if you like them at the same time it's these trainers here so they're super like chunky trainers which are really in fashion at the moment i've been seeing them all over my instagram every time i go on instagram i see shoes like this so yeah i basically chose a pair of these i was going to go for a crazy color pair but i decided to stick with white and i'm really happy with my choice i feel like i might actually invest in a colored pair as well though because i've been wearing these so much they're so comfy um so yeah i'll try and leave both of these linked down below i'll also just leave public desire website if you want to check it out and if you do there is a code you can get 15 percent off if you use the code emily15 and i'll link that down below as well it's all in capitals um so yeah you can get 15 percent off if you are looking for a new pair of shoes go and check out the website they've got some amazing stuff on there <coughs> So I was just messaging my friend Sean, who I mentioned earlier on in the video. Um, we're going to go out for drinks tonight. We said we're going to go out for cocktails, which will be so nice. I'm really looking forward to just having like a nice girly evening with her and a nice catch up. Um, but she just said she's about to head into town. And I think I'm going to go with her, maybe buy something new to wear, like get a new top or something. Um, you know when you go out and you just feel like you want to, you just want to wear something new. Um, I've lost my lip balm which is not great it must be in my bag from earlier um yeah so i'm literally just quickly getting my stuff together and we're gonna pop into town together oh hello this is not very good let me pop you down um yeah so we're just gonna quickly pop into town together maybe pick up something new to wear just have a little wander around town I completely forgot about vlogging today. Um, it's now a little bit later, it's 20 past five. Um, I've just made some dinner. I had a little nap when I got back. Um, me and Sean went into town. I picked up a top. Um, I'll show you guys it in a bit because I think I'm gonna wear it later. But yeah, I came back, had a little nap with Alex because we were both really tired and he's going out tonight. So we both just wanted a nap. Um, so we had like a half an hour chill. And now I've just made some food because I was starving. What is going on with this light? What's happening? What's happening? Uh, I've got macaroni cheese and some ketchup. I'm going to sit and eat that, watch a bit of YouTube, and then probably start getting ready. I think me and Sean are going to go out at about 8, so I've got a couple of hours just to chill, get ready, that sort of thing. Um, I'm going to enjoy this before it gets cold. But yes, I will catch up with you when I have got ready or when I'm about to get ready. So I've just finished getting ready. Well, I'm not actually ready. I've done my makeup. I've put my new t-shirt on, so it's this one here. It's from Topshop and it says Heartbreak Hotel and then Elvis Presley on it. Um, and yeah, I've just been sat getting ready. I didn't feel very well earlier, um, TMI, but I had really bad, like, they like cramps, but I'm not even on my period or due my period. So I don't know what it was, but I was in a lot of pain. So I had to lie down for like half an hour with a hot water bottle. Um, it's now at seven o'clock. The light looks really blue and I don't know why. And I don't know how to fix that. Um, but yeah, I've just finished doing my makeup and... I'm now going to do my hair, get ready. I think Sean's ready as well, so we're a bit early, but never mind. Um, I'm just going to continue listening to some music, sort out my hair. I think I'm going to put some tassely red earrings in and go all out. Um, I'm also just waiting for my phone to charge, but yeah, thought I'd show you my makeup. So I'm ready, I just need to turn off my music. Okay, I am ready to go out now. I'm not sure what's going on with this lighting, it's really strange. The lighting in my room is really yellow, but then when I go over to the window, I look really blue and washed out, and I don't know how to fix that. So, if you're a genius watching this, please tell me. Um, I'm just gonna deal with it. Uh, yeah, I'm all ready. I basically just scraped my hair up in a bun. I have no idea what it looks like at the back. I haven't tried to look, but yeah, I've just done that. Um, I've popped on my big hoop earrings, which I love. They are from H&M. They're super lightweight. Um, and I just love big hoops because bigger the hoop, bigger the hoe. Um, yeah, I'm ready to go. I have got on 
quick outfit. I've got my Heartbreak Hotel top on from Topshop. Uh, fake Gucci. Haha, <laughs> no, it's actually H&M belt, but it looks like a Gucci belt. Um, I've then got on these trousers, which are from Topshop. They're just like, uh, no, they're not. These are ASOS, ASOS petite jeans uh, with rips down them. And then I've got some really old shoes from Topshop on that just have a little cut out bit. And then obviously my big flat, black no my big black fluffy coat uh i'm shoving on top just need to sort out my bag i'm probably gonna take my mulberry um and yeah i just need to get my bits together like my purse and stuff let's turn this off see if that helps the light mm. no i still look blue fabulous uh i'm not sure if sean's ready i need to message her it's 20 past seven we agreed on eight but i think we're both ready early so probably go in a minute um and yeah i'll take you along with me and i'll probably end up vlogging loads because i'm gonna have a few cocktails and i'll end up getting drunk and getting the camera out because i won't be shy or nervous to vlog in public because i'll be drunk so i hope you enjoy the rest of this vlog just ordered another drink at the bar we're in a place called 104 which I normally go to like I quite often come here and I ordered an espresso martini and it honestly tastes like pure vodka <laughs> oh I'm gonna film Sean's reaction she doesn't even like coffee oh no that is so strong <laughs> that's not a nice espresso martini like the guy basically, he was like, he got out a pint of milk and I was like, no, hun, they don't have milk in them. And he was like, oh, okay, I won't put any milk in yours, but it's not going to taste very nice. They never normally put milk in them. I can still taste the coffee. Yeah. It's strong, right? It just tastes like vodka, like... Uh, it's nice. We're going to carry on drinking. I'm going to finish this. Sean's going to finish her drink. What are you drinking? It's like vodka and cranberry or something. It's romance in the city or something. It's vodka. Romance city. Cranberry and was it Contra? Contra, yeah. Yeah, that's it. Orange liqueur. I don't think I've ever had that. That's nice though. Orange liqueur? Is that what it is? Yeah, orange liqueur is Contra. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. But yeah, we're just going to finish our drinks and then we're going to go to Orange Rooms, which is a club, and I will take you along with us. I feel like this is so much more fun vlogging on my phone than my camera. Yeah. I just don't care what people think. Like, hey, hero, what's up, man? You made my cocktail and it did not taste very nice. <laughs> Guys, I'm not very well. Um, it's now the next day, as you can probably tell. I'm hoping the clips I filmed last night on my phone were okay. Um, we'd had quite a few drinks and we just started filming on my phone because we thought it was funny i might not even put them in if they're rubbish but yeah my camera died last night so i couldn't film on there so i filmed some stuff on my phone but i don't think it was great i then came back and on the walk on the way home 
I was in so much pain. I had to lie in the middle of the pavement with Sean while she like sat with me because my stomach was in so much pain. Now, you know, yesterday, um, well, in the vlog for you guys a minute ago, I mentioned that I had really bad pains and they felt like period pains, but I'm not due on my period, so it's not that. Um, I really didn't know what it was and it was getting worse and worse throughout the day it got so bad in the evening i was just in so much pain i just had to lie there and hopefully it would go um i didn't even take my makeup off i'm not gonna lie to you this is last night's makeup i still haven't found the energy to take it off i'm gonna do it in a minute but i just haven't haven't found the energy to um so i had some paracetamol tried to go to sleep ended up falling asleep with the light on and i messaged alex and i said look i'm in so much pain like can you come home because he was at a he was out at a friend's house i was crying i didn't know what to do but i ended up falling asleep and then a couple of hours later he came home woke me up and i was just asleep on my bed in my clothes with my makeup on with the light on like i'd just completely fallen asleep and then i woke up and it was so much worse the whole pain had traveled around my stomach i was up the rest of the night just like tossing and turning i didn't know what to do i it hurts so much like no pain i've ever experienced nothing was making it go i had a hot water bottle i tried lying different positions i tried car uh, caramel <laughs> i tried paracetamol and nothing worked um so yeah i woke up this morning and it was still ex exactly the same so i phoned 111 and spoke to them and basically i have got a kidney infection which is quite serious um i had girl talk i had a bladder infection at the beginning of the week and i had antibiotics for it these ones here but they went um the infection went and within a few days so i didn't bother taking them because i didn't want to take unnecessary antibiotics so i just left it it was fine for ages it was fine for a good few days and then yesterday it obviously had come back but it moved to my kidneys which is a lot more serious so that is what that pain was <laughs> i wasn't being a baby and it was just like some sort of period pain thing or like something to do with your hormones it was actually my kidneys um so yeah that was fun and then i uh, started taking the antibiotics this morning got back into bed and i just i just fell asleep and i've been asleep most of the day it's like half past one 20 past one and i got up about half an hour ago and i went and made a bit of food um alex bless him went over to our nearest little shop and got me some cranberry juice and um some bread and stuff so that i've got some bits in to eat because i physically just can't leave the house i'm in so much pain um it feels a bit better now i think the paracetamol has kicked in so the pain isn't actually there at the moment but i just feel drained like i just feel utterly rubbish um so yeah not a very cheery end to this vlog but it looks like i'm spending my weekend lying in bed recovering um to be honest i do feel a bit better and i was meant to be going out tonight because alex's band has got a gig and i always go to his gigs so i love going and watching him and the rest of the band obviously i live with them all um so i was meant to be going to that so if i feel like this later i'll probably be okay I'll, obviously i just won't drink and i won't stay out really late i'll just go for the support because i feel like right now i do actually feel okay i'm not really in any pain so i'll just see how i feel later but he's out at the moment so i've just had to be looking after myself um but yeah i'm just gonna keep drinking this and i'm gonna end this vlog here so i can actually get it edited because it goes up tomorrow and i haven't got anything to do right now i'm gonna shower and take my makeup off and stuff but i might sit in bed for a bit and edit this vlog first um I hope you enjoyed it guys give it a thumbs up if you did and leave me a comment down below and i will see you all next sunday with another video and hopefully i'll be feeling a bit better by then goodbye